Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Scotty. Welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out some of the guns that you guys should be leveling up right now to get ready for Modern Warfare 3's Warzone. So you guys can have some guns that I think will be some of the best ones to use within Warzone for Modern Warfare 3. So you guys aren't left behind using the wrong guns that will turn out to not be one of the metas. And as well, give you guys some great guns that overall perform very well within Modern Warfare 3. So I believe that they will be very good within Warzone. Before we get into the video, just a heads up, if you guys need help getting new contracts or finding good players to play with, feel free to join my Discord, the link is down below in the description, there's tons of great players on there, so if you're looking to make some friends or find help to get some nukes, that is the place to be. Welcome back to the channel for my return subscribers and a warm welcome for the new ones as well. So guys, we're getting closer to Modern Warfare 3's Warzone, and with that, we're wondering what guns will be the best for Warzone. Now we will still have all the Modern Warfare 2 guns, but by now I'm sure most of you guys already have most of the guns leveled up all the way. So we're going to be focusing on which guns on Modern Warfare 3 are the ones that you guys should probably be leveling up the most right now. Especially for the ones who can't play the game that much, maybe they have a full time job, families, and stuff like that. Using that limited time to level up these guns might help you save some time so you can get right into Warzone and have a good time playing. So without further ado, let's check out the weapons that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. So guys, the first gun on this list is going to be the MCW Assault Rifle. Now this one is one of my favorites within Modern Warfare 3 already, as it has great damage, great range, pretty good recoil control as well, and overall feels like a very solid gun. So I feel like this gun in Modern Warfare 3's Warzone will be very good for the mid to short range combat, due to, as I said, its damage, its accuracy, and its range being pretty good for an Assault Rifle. So definitely level up the MCW if you have not already, because I think this will be one of the most important guns to level up within Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. The second gun on this list will also be an assault rifle and this one is the SVA 545. This one is a little harder hitting than the MCW and has pretty good recoil control and great damage and range. This one I think will be better for the mid to mid long range as it does pack quite a bit of a punch and as well has very exceptional range and pretty good recoil control as well. The SVA 545 is definitely one that I think will be one of the most important guns to use within Warzone on Modern Warfare 3. So I do believe that you guys should be leveling up this gun as well as I do think it will be one of the best ones within Warzone. The third gun on this list is an SMG and that one is the Wasp 9. Now the Wasp 9 is a great SMG that packs a pretty high damage rate, good mobility, and pretty steady recoil control due to its slower fire rate. But just like we got with the Uzi and the Uzi variant on Cold War for Warzone 1, I feel like the Wasp 9 will be a great Uzi to use within the new Warzone, and I think that this gun will be very exceptional for that mid-range and short-range combat. Usually SMGs are only good at close range, but some SMGs especially in the first Warzone that had slower fire rates with heavier damage were pretty exceptional as well at the more short mid area. So I definitely do think that the Wasp 9 will be one of the best guns to use within Warzone on MW3. So definitely level up this one and get the conversion kit for it because I do think that that conversion kit will definitely help out a ton as well. The next gun on this list is going to be the Striker 9 SMG, and I chose this one over the normal Striker, just because I feel like this one will be better for those close range engagements, as it has a higher fire rate and more damage. The only difference with the Striker and the Striker 9 is the Striker itself has a little better mobility and handling, but since this is going to be a very close quarters weapon for those close range gunfights and buildings and stuff, I think the Striker 9 will be one of the best ones for those very close encounters in those close quarter combat scenarios. I think this one definitely stands out as probably going to be one of the best SMGs that we'll have for Warzone, so definitely level up the Striker 9 if you have not already, because I think this will be one of the best close range weapons we have for Warzone in MW3. The next gun we have on this list is the Holger 556. Now you can choose either this one or the LMG variant of it, the Holger 26, as they're both pretty similar in my opinion. But the Holger 556 is kind of like that mid-range between LMG and AR as it's a very heavy assault rifle. With its great damage and range and pretty good accuracy as well, this gun is definitely going to be one of those ones that will be very exceptional for the more longer range gunfights. Especially if you can control your aim properly and control the recoil, I feel like this gun could be absolutely brutal in the right hands with the right attachments and build. So as I said, use either the Holger 556 or its LMG variant, and I think that these two guns will be one of the best ones to use within Warzone and W3. The next gun on this list is going to be the DG-58 Assault Rifle, and this one I'm kind of on the hit or miss about because I do feel like this gun could be very good for Warzone as it's insane in multiplayer. But the thing with the burst weapons is usually in Warzone, they either get nerfed very very quickly to the point that they're unusable, or they just overall are not that good in the first place. So I'm hoping that the DG-58 is going to be one of those guns that are very good for the mid to long range gunfights within Warzone MW3. So do take my word for it that I do think this gun will be great, I'm hoping it is, because I've been loving it a lot on Modern Warfare already. So definitely level up the DG-58 and I think you guys will have a potentially great weapon to use. 
Now to talk about the pistols, I think every single pistol will have its own uses within Warzone. As the Core 45 will be just a great sidearm if you have a built right, the Renetti will be more of an aggressive one due to its fire rate, and as well the tier will be pretty good as well as it's one of those ones that have a very very high damage rate but pretty low fire rate as well. It does come with snake shot rounds so I'm not sure how exactly that will perform within Warzone as snake shots are usually broken, but I would definitely level up the tier just in case because I do feel like there is a chance that the tier could be an insane weapon especially with the snake shots. So here we have it guys, these are some of the guns that you should be leveling up right now for Warzone MW3. Now of course there are a lot of other guns I could mention but I feel like these ones will be the best one as a more aggressive player. If you guys think that there's other guns that will be good for Warzone, definitely let me know down in the comments and make sure you guys level up those guns as well, don't only stick to my category and lists. Level up the guns that you think will be good so you can go into the game with some weapons that you think will be pretty good. Now as Warzone does come out, I'll be making a list of the actual best guns to use within Warzone, so definitely stay tuned for that, this is all theory and speculation. Once the game fully comes out, I'll have an actual video out for that. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video guys, if you guys did enjoy today's video, you're always welcome to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel too, so you never miss out on a future Call of Duty video here on the channel. With all that said and out of the way, hope you guys once again enjoyed the video, my name is Scotty, take care, and thanks for watching.